Morning everybody, hope you guys are doing all right. Pedro here and today we are in Portugal. Came here on vacation. Here is all my family. That's my dad, my sister, my mom, Linda. And today we're gonna start driving. It's now exactly midnight and we're gonna drive for six hours to the north of Portugal. And uh, once we get there, I'll tell you more. Alright, and we finally, after six hours driving, we got to the very top of one of the mountains here. It's called Miradouro Pedra Bella, it's Pedra Bella viewpoint, and it's an amazing and amazing viewpoint. It's still quite dark, uh, it's quite cloudy, I don't know how we're gonna see the sunrise, but yeah, that was the plan in the beginning, but actually, the view is amazing, so even if we don't see the sunrise, it will be a nice view. They told me that I always had to be good. But being good always be problems is true. So I learn it, I learn it. And now I know I don't want to play it, play it, to play it. God, man, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. But I'm around, baby, it's true. We came down from the viewpoint, we got to the first waterfall, we're gonna see viewpoints and waterfalls today. And the first one is called Cascata de Varias, Varias waterfall. Very nice, I think it has a water hole down there, so if you wanna swim, yeah. Today I think the water will be very cold, but you can always give it a try. To be good, but being good always be problems is true. Don't let it, don't let it. And now I know I don't wanna play this, but play it, but play it. But man, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. But I know I'm baby, it's true. We just got here to a waterfall called Sela Cavallo, and this is, I think, the third waterfall we see today, and it is beautiful. I would say 20 to 30 minutes walk to this waterfall depending where you're coming from, but uh, if you take a few shortcuts, maybe you take 10, 15 minutes. All right, so uh, yeah, let's keep on going. It's around one in the afternoon. We've been awake since 8 a.m. Not from today, from yesterday, because we were driving the 600 kilometers throughout the whole night. And uh, yeah, 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 1 p.m. and we're stopping for lunch. We still have more waterfalls to see, so we still have a few other things until we actually stop to get some rest and sleep. So the day is still halfway, and uh, yeah, if you are here in the very, very north of Portugal, uh, I advise you to try the traditional things. Go to any restaurant and just ask what's the dish of the day and have it. So. Uh, yeah, just enjoy the amazing food they have here. Let's check it out. It's now like eight o'clock, the sun just set now and it's gonna get dark very quickly. But to finish it up today, we are going to see one very, very special stone. It's the, we call it Marco One. I don't know how to translate that thing in Portuguese, in uh, English, but it's the stone number one. And it's the northest point you can go in Portugal. 
it's quite hard to get here but if you manage to get here it's quite a special spot and here it is everybody for today that's it uh, this place after you see the stone number one you have this bridge right here I'm using the light of my phone because you can't see anything almost already the Sun has set a while ago and you can actually cross Portugal in Spain so at this moment now I am in Spain and as you see here it says Portugal and I'm crossing and now I'm in Portugal now as you see it's Spain so you cross back and now you're in Spain again and it's uh, it's quite interesting and the river is beautiful you know we came here too late so we cannot see all its beauty because it's very very dark but I promise you if you come here it's gonna be very very nice I know there's some people on the water swimming because I see their clothes there so uh, yeah all right now it's time to go back to the hotel finally have some sleep and tomorrow morning there is more. Morning everyone. Finally after some good sleep. I don't even remember falling asleep yesterday. Does anyone actually remember? But yeah, I had a very good sleep yesterday. It's morning time now and we are now in our first place. It's called Miradouro do Tibo. It's like a viewing point, Tibo viewing point and it's very, very nice. There's lots and lots of viewing points. This is just one of them. We're probably going to see another one and a few waterfalls. But uh, yeah, just look at this landscape. we're going down now to another waterfall and this one from what I can see right now it's very very nice it's uh, very big though this one can allow for a lot of people to be in it and uh, we see already some people down there let's get down there then <laughs> Well, guess what? We are now in a place called Uj Banhos. It's a uh, <laughs> Uj. It's um, Portuguese word, and Banhos is a Spanish word. So uh, yeah, it's uh, a weird name for a place that is actually in Spain. So we are now in Spain, and uh, it's very close to the place we were before. And we are in a thermal river, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna spend here around 20 minutes, half an hour, just to relax a bit from the trip. is where we stay for the day north of Portugal it's very very nice this area of Jerez and the areas around it are very very beautiful there's lots of forest lots of things to do lots of trails if you like trails and uh, yeah it's just amazing to do so don't forget to like subscribe I'll see you guys on my next trip